Jamie and Adam are having a blast. Their quest to paint with explosives has led to two very different designs. Adam is first, and he's painting by numbers. The numbers are... Five, four, three, two, one. I see a lot of green. And the building's still standing. Well, that's a good thing. That is a very good thing. Let's go look. Are we clear to look? Let's have a look. Well, there's paint on all the cameras, but what about the walls? Oh, man. Yep, the walls have a coat of paint, but is it any good? <laughs> I thought it would be a little better than that. The detonation cord looks like it was ideal. It spread the paint in a fine mist without damaging the walls, but it's not a perfect paint job. Coverage, total crap, unfortunately. Yep, that we can see. So how about some analysis? You think that it, it makes sense to your brain that you like get some dynamite near paint and that paint's just gonna go everywhere. But in fact, actually, it's quite obvious from looking at this. And from the explosion, there's a pressure wave and it travels in a very predictable pattern, 360 degrees from the point of, of detonation. And if you don't have paint in its way all the way around in equal amounts, you're gonna get screwed. I'm hoping that fans have a real problem with this and email everybody about it so we get to revisit it. Before you send in those emails, Jamie still has to launch his pyramid paint bomb. Well, are you ready to set up yours? Yeah. Mythbuster Pride is on the line. Jamie at his pyramid paint bomb is the team's last chance for success. Precision is the cornerstone of Jamie's design. And as the actress said to the bishop... Dude, uh, one more inch. That's dead center. Next, our explosive experts help give this paint bomb its bang. Through each of the five pots, they feed separate pieces of detonation cord. The blast is concentrated by tying them into a knot. Now to load the ammunition. Are you going to try and coat each wall a different color? That's the plan. <laughs> Excellent. With five half-gallon paint bombs ready to pop, Jamie carefully tapes them into position. <laughs> How's it going, neighbor? I'm gonna paint my house. You better clear <laughs> yeah. out. You gonna paint your house with explosives? <laughs> That's crazy! All five mortars are ready to fire. I think we're good to go. Let's, uh, let's get out of here. And Jamie is as proud as punch. This is one of the most wonderful things about the work, is that oftentimes we're allowed to do things that nobody else has ever done before. Back in the bunker, and Jamie's creation gets a Mythbuster moniker. The flower of death. <laughs> Los flores de los muertos. <laughs> That's it. This is it. With the system hot, the flower of death loaded, Five, Jamie just needs four, to count backwards. Three, two, one. The remote cameras take one for the team, but the force of the blast means the pictures are inconclusive, and the view from the bunker is Jamie's pyramids ain't so great. The window looks pretty red. And I don't, yeah, it doesn't look like it did what I wanted it to do from here, but let's go find out. <laughs> <laughs> That's horrible. Dude. That is uh, not it, at all effective. <laughs> no, it's actually a fantastic way to do abstract expressionist painting. This is a masterpiece in here. <laughs> I swear to God. Really, this is, this is Jackson Pollock. Through and through and through. Each wall actually is like a different phase of his career. Adam is obviously talking complete Pollock. Let's see if Jamie has some science for us. The only thing that I can see that's some sort of indication what actually happened is that uh, we've got more or less a vertical stripe here, a vertical stripe here, a vertical stripe here. I mean, it did directionalize the paint, it just didn't spread it. There was direction, but each of the five colors hit its target wall with a splat rather than a spray. So Adam's patchy undercoat of green is still clearly visible. Basically, you won't be picking up Jamie's Flower of Death or Adam's Bag of Paint at your local hardware store anytime soon. With another couple of days and four or five more full-scale explosions, we might get pretty close to something that did some kind of reasonable, complete coverage of the walls, but it's still going to leave debris and shrapnel and all sorts of stuff. This proves to me that there is no way 
to viably paint your house with explosives, much as you would like to try. So uh, our experiment in home improvement with dynamite, painting with explosives, what's the verdict? Mr. Bean version, bust it. Our version was also busted. Yeah, I think the best that can be said about what we achieved was that you found a stunning way to make instant modern art. Yep, but it's still busted. Yeah, it's busted.